Hello. I'm Glusnop. Now. And welcome to Building the Best. Today we're going to be looking at Radial Javelin Excalibur. Without a doubt, Excalibur's most boring use. Let's be honest though, we all want to know how this works because we have all, if you have got to a mastery rank above 8, probably been to Draco and had someone power level you. And it's more than likely going to be an Excalibur. Because Excalibur has very a very unique third ability, Radial Javelin, which hits a set number of targets within sight line for a massive amount of damage. And this damage can be buffed up by other frames, and the range here is also very, very important. The 62.5 meter range is surprisingly far for any ability. And Excalibur's ability to spam this with, very, with relatively little energy cost for massive amounts of damage makes him very, very useful because when it comes to efficiency, uh, experience gains, sorry, or, to, or affinity gains, as Warframe calls them, when, an, so when someone in your squad kills with abilities, everyone else in the squad gets a lot of affinity. And that affinity goes to both their frames and their weapons, whereas the Excalibur, who did all of the work, only gets that affinity on his frame, which, let's be honest, is more often than not going to be maxed. I mean, it's an Excalibur. It doesn't exactly take much to max one of these. So, let's get into the thick of the build, because basically what we want is as much range and as much power strength as we can get. So we can start off immediately with all four of the power strength mods completely maxed. Then we have all three of the range mods, again, completely maxed. Fleeting expertise for efficiency and natural talent here for quality of life. Finally, we have Corrosive Projection up here instead of Energy Siphon, as if you're going to be running Draco with Excalibur, or actually, if you're going to be doing anything where you're radial javelining with Excalibur, you're probably going to have an EV Trinity standing next to you, giving you a lot of energy. You don't need Energy Siphon. Corrosive Projection is basically a flat damage buff against enemy and any enemy that has armor. Wow, words. So... Before I move on, very quickly, I do have to explain, natural talent can be replaced by flow, which will give you four casts of your um, radial javelin before you need more energy. However, if you are going to be doing Draco with him, uh, you kind of need natural talent. I mean, technically you don't. Technically you can radial javelin fast enough, perform the animation fast enough, that you can take the enemies as they come without any threat. Just. Just so very barely. And what natural talent does is give you breathing room. It basically means that you can take on a larger amount of enemies at one time because you can spam your ult a little bit, uh, spam your three, my apologies, a little bit faster and deal with more enemies. Because as I've mentioned before, Radio Javelin has a set number of enemies it can hit. If a wave of 20 enemies comes at you, you really don't want a three second cast. Uh, well, no, what is it? A two and a half second cast, I believe? to be able to kill both, you know, those two, uh, those 20 enemies. I am having trouble with words today. Wow. Okay, now, moving on very quickly, there is one last thing I have to show you before I can demonstrate this build, and it is Trinity. Because, as you see here, with absolute max power strength, I have 62.5 meters of power range, meaning I can slaughter anything within 62.5 meters virtually instantly. If we look at my Trinity Prime with its EV page, with 250% range, you can see a startling similarity here. 62.5 meter ability radius, meaning that if you are on Draco, and there is an EV Trinity with you, and you're playing Excalibur, if you kill every enemy the absolute instant it comes into your range, your Trinity is going to have some trouble getting you any energy. So. And, and then the Trinity, of course, you know, thinking, of course, everything inside the Excalibur's range is instantly dead. Why don't I cast on something outside its range? I mean, the Trinity is perfectly capable. It has a 250 meter cast range. You're not getting any energy from that. Neither is the Trinity, and you will both run out of energy and then probably die. So, yeah, pros and cons to killing things the absolute instant they come into your range, but generally speaking, you want to let the Trinity EV something before you blow it away with massive javelins. <sighs> Anyhow, so we're going to very quickly... No, wrong thing. We're going to very quickly demonstrate this delight delightful little facet of the game. We're going to be going to Draco, 
me and my lovely assistant with her EV Trinity, and we're going to be demonstrating this, because Draco is without a doubt the best place in the game to get both affinity and focus at the moment, and this is sort of unfortunate, because it means that you have to spend a lot of time doing a relatively boring mission, but you may as well make the most of it, and this is how to get the most out of any Draco run. So I'm going to very quickly explain, the reason we go to Draco is because it is the highest set map where we can take on Grenier. Whilst we could do a defense, defenses on Draco have a moving uh, objective and slightly less enemies per, well, I guess per minute is the best way of explaining it. Um, a set, ma set amount of enemies per wave, whereas interceptions just keep spawning enemies as fast as you can kill them, which is pretty delightful when you want to get experience. Now, the reason we want to take on um, Grenier is simply because Corpus are annoying as all hell, and Infested give less experience, believe it or not. Whilst the actual average experience Infested give is the same as the other races... Races? Factions? Factions. I'm going to go with factions on that one. They give more for the weaker Infested and less for... Uh, sorry, they give more for the stronger Infested and less for the weaker ones. And the stronger Infested then protect the weaker ones, which makes it somewhat awkward to run and farm infested for experience. But it's still done. To be fair, it is still done. So, Draco. What we have is four points. It is an inception, obviously, and it works like all inceptions do. And to quickly explain, we want to spend as much time here as possible, because whilst we could just grind through waves and waves and waves of enemies and keep going on to the next stage, completing rounds and going on to the next, the enemies will gradually get higher level until Excalibur is incapable of killing them very quickly, and then your experience gains will drop off. So we want to stay in round one of this mission for as long as is possible, and the best way of doing that is by only capturing two points. Obviously, we could only capture one point and keep three neutralized, and we would eventually win the mission, but this is quite difficult to do, and frankly, if you're trying to keep your Excalibur in energy and in damage, it's virtually impossible. Um, because obviously the Excalibur and the Trinity are going to be very busy killing things and finding targets. Now the reason I'm standing on this box is because I can hit enemies as they walk down this slope over here, just in my range, and this lovely little slope over here, again just on the edge of my range. So if we stand here and the Trinity casts on things inside my range, we can easily keep the C and D points perfectly safe and kill the majority of the Grenier spawning on the map as they walk out of their spawns. We can there are spawn points below us, and the Grenier walking out of those will tend to walk up this ramp here, and the ramp just over here, and again, we'll just walk straight into my radial javelins and die, which is delightful, that's what we want. Now, very quickly, there's one last thing to say. Uh, a misconception I've been seeing more and more about Draco runs is people seem to think that if you neutralize a point, you are shortening the mission. This is complete and utter bollocks. Complete tripe indeed. When you neutralize a point, it does nothing for anyone. The bars move at a set speed depending- the tenor and opponent bars move at a set speed dependent on how many points you have captured. When one is neutralized, it's doing nothing for anyone and it is not benefiting either the Tenno or the Grenier. All it's really doing, if we capture a point, is slowing down the rate at which the opponent's bar increases, whilst ours remains increasing at a fairly set speed. And that's why you want to jump, o jump over to the A point and neutralize this thing to try and give yourself a little bit of breathing room. Because if, the, if for some reason, if you have a lag spike, someone drops out of the squad, a sniper gets a lucky hit on, on the... Uh, Trinity of the shit I captured that point because I wasn't thinking. <clears throat> My apologies. You want a little bit of breathing room and honestly I recommend 6 or 7% in terms of breathing room because that's how long it's going to take you, that's how much you're going to lose. If you only have two points and the Grenier capture one of them, you will lose between 5 and 7% depending on how fast your squad is at reacting before you manage to capture it back. So yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say. Now, of course, we're not going to get much focus from this little example run, but just quickly to demonstrate from this shitty little run where I have done not much at all and been medicining about, I've still gotten a thousand focus, and I would imagine that the Trinity with me has leveled up a lot of her weapons. 
So yeah, this is Draco. Probably the most boring and repetitive mission you will ever have to suffer through. But let's be honest, it maxes weapons like you would not imagine. Anyhow, I'm sorry if this one has been a little bit strange, and I am very sorry for accidentally capping A. That was, that was just foolish of me. Really was. Anyhow, last thing to say is that you can use various frames. Equinox, Banshee, Nova, Rhino, and... I think there's one other to buff up your Excalibur's attack, or you can just take a Corrosive Projection. If you are going to be in squad on a Draco run, I highly recommend you take something that can help the squad, even if you are leveling that frame up. So anyhow, thank you very much indeed for watching. Please like and comment below and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm Blizznub, and this is, of course, Radial Javelin Excalibur. Alright, I... I completely forgot a couple things, so there's a lot to cover on this one, so I'm going to add this little tip bit at the end. Focus. How much will you get? Let's be honest. Can I have some energy? There we go. Now, you saw in my run I got about a thousand in a couple minutes, let's say. Now, it takes you about three minutes to finish a mission in general, and if you do it incredibly slowly, it will take five minutes and 40 seconds. If you capture two points perfectly, it will take you 5 minutes and 40 seconds to do a Draco run. And in that time, you can get, if no one kills things with weapons, and if no one but you kills things with affinity, 6,000... Uh, kills things with affinity, with abilities, I might say. 6,000 um, focus. I don't know exactly how that translates into experience, but that's sort of a moot point for the... For what I'm trying to say. Now what I am trying to say is that you will of course be tempted to up the 6,000 experience by grabbing these little focus things around the room. If you are going to do that, what I can highly recommend is that you jump over there with max energy and radio javelin on the way and jump back and radio javelin on the way back. Now on the way there is to clear enemies for when you land because a scorch, even a regular grenier, could easily take you out as you're trying to get to the focus thingamajoggle. And on the way back, it's just to clear the room so your squad, who has been without you for about five seconds, doesn't start taking damage from enemies around the corner. And that's pretty much all I have to say. If you do this, if you get those focus things, I have seen firsthand you can get about 20,000 focus on round one. 20,000 focus on round one. If you go a full four rounds, you could easily max out your 100,000 per day in just four rounds, which is 20 two minutes of gameplay. So, yeah. Anyhow, as I was saying, thank you very much for watching.